Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mari Martinez. Para los que no me conocen y para los que ya me conocen, I hope you guys are doing all right. So for today's video, I create this beautiful Christmas makeup look. So easy to create with glitter. Of course, we all love using glitter with our eyeshadows. And if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more videos of me. There's so much videos coming soon. So yes, guys, if you want to see how I created this beautiful shadow, then please keep on watching. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to be um, showing you guys the palette that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using my Snow Queen palette, the same one that I used last time. Uh, so I'm going to go in with this shade. I'm not going to prime my eye. This is the first time or one of the first times that I do not prime my eyes. It just has concealer. So I'm going to go in with this shade right here. It's like a kind of brown shade, like the color of my shirt, a little bit darker. Se llama Memories. And I curl my hair. Let me show you guys. I curl my hair. I curl my hair and I burn my finger. So I have this little ball and it hurts. If you guys catch me looking at my finger, it's because it hurts. You're saying. I'm going to go in with my Morphe E17. I'm gonna be grabbing some of the shadow and I'm gonna be packing the shadow on top of my crease. Whenever I start doing makeup, I like, I went crazy buying so many palettes because I didn't know that you can use the same palettes to recreate so many makeup looks. After that, you needed to have like a lot of palettes to do your eyeshadow and everything but that's a lie okay so i'm just gonna be packing this shade half of my eye only and now i'm gonna go in with this shade right here it's like an orangey shade se llama earth and I'm using the same brush. I'm just gonna start packing that shade on top of the other shade and bringing the shadow down like that. So, primero le estoy dando forma and then I'm gonna start like blending. So, now I actually clean the makeup brush cleaner from the Dollar Tree and it's wet it's in the restroom drying so i have a little trapito right here a little towel where i'm cleaning my brush so now i'm gonna be blending the shadow i'm gonna start in the inner corner of my eye where i apply the darker shade okay so now i'm gonna be cutting the crease I'm gonna be using my e.l.f. concealer 60 combo matte finish this one and I'm gonna be using my Morphe E37 to cut my crease it has a little bit of the um, brown shade so I'm just gonna go ahead and clean it before using it and like always, you guys know that I don't know how to cut my crease and talk at the same time. So just look. I'm going to be grabbing a little bit of the concealer on my brush. And I'm going to be using my small mirror to see. And I'm going to be cutting the crease. I like cutting the crease a little bit higher than my actually crease. Because if I cut the crease where my eye bends, um, it's not gonna look cute whenever I open my eyes, it's gonna hide. And it gives the illusion of my eyes looking bigger, I guess. Okay, so I already cut the crease. Now I'm just going to be using the concealer applicator to apply the rest of the concealer. And I'm going to be using this flat brush from Morphe. 
No tiene nombre. It doesn't have a name. Morphe. Está al revés. Morphe. And I'm just gonna be moving around the concealer. Okay. I'm just trying to see if both of my eyes they look kind of the same. I'm gonna go in with the palette again. And I'm gonna be using this blue shade right here. The name is Water Horse. And I'm gonna be using my Bibelas Cosmetics. This one is the NG335. And it's a flat brush. Bro, I have never used, um, I think I have never used this shadow, but it's really pigmented. Look how pigmented it is. I know I already did a blue look. I'm gonna be leaving it linked down below if you guys haven't checked it out so you guys can go and check it out um but i love how the blue shadow looks on my eyes i don't know why i have never been to like blue shadow it's still right now and i have so many palettes with blue shadows and they're all pigmented as hell i have a brand new palette que me regalaron it was a gift and I think I have never used it and it has a blue shadow as well. So I want to use it soon. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna go in with this um, Wet n Wild blending brush. I use it for my other eye. It looks like it's dirty, but it's not. Actually, I already cleaned it on my little towel that I have right here. I'm gonna go in with the shade Memories and Bad Guide. Memories and Bad Guide. This one right here is the brown shade and the black one. So I can make it smoky in the outer corner. I'm gonna tap the brush and then I'm gonna tap the excess away. I'm gonna be packing the shade on top of the blue. And then I'm going to grab a little bit more, pack it again, and I'm going to be grabbing a clean blending brush. This one is also from Wet n Wild. And I'm going to be blending those shadows. So I'm going to be blending those shadows with the blue first. So everything can look like blend. And then I'm going to clean the shadow a little bit more. I'm going to grab a little bit more of the memories and the back guy pack that again and start blending everything together if you want to go ahead and clean your brush a little bit more and blend again like that and then so it can look sharp i'm gonna be using my um white piece to clean it i'm just gonna grab a little bit more and go in one more time okay i feel like that's good enough i'm gonna be grabbing a little white pee. i'm gonna fold it and i'm gonna be cleaning the excess under my eyes Oh my god, I have so many baby hairs everywhere flying. Okay, and then I'm gonna be cleaning the shadow so it can look really sharp. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add glitter. I don't know if you guys can see, but I have glitter. The same palette, it comes with glitter. It comes with this blue glitter right here and this orange glitter right here. I have used this one as well and it's so cute. I've been wanting to use this one right here. Okay, so I have a hair in my mouth. So annoying. I'm gonna be grabbing the same brush that I used to apply the blue shadow. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the blue glitter right here. It's pressed down glitter. It already comes with glue, so you don't have to apply more glue. I'm gonna be using it. I'm gonna be grabbing a little bit of the glitter and pack it on top of the blue shadow. And then 
and I'm applying also um, some glitter between the blue and like the smoky part of my eye okay so after I apply the glitter I'm gonna be using this blue glitter as well I'm gonna be applying this blue glitter on top of the um, well in between the blue shade and the brown shade And this glitter you have to go over like few times so you can really see the blue little glitters so I'm just going over it I'm gonna let it dry dry and come back and apply a little bit more for the lashes I'm gonna be using these lashes from beauty creations so last the um, the Murillo twins I used these lashes last time in one of my looks and I love them so much. They look super cute. They're really dramatic. So you really, really had to make like a really dramatic eyeshadow so they can go with it. So let me apply my other lash and then I'll be right back to show you guys. Okay, so this is how my makeup is looking so far. Okay. So now we're gonna move on to my face. I'm gonna be using these Beauty Creations Pro Mate Primer Setting Spray from Beauty Creations. I'm gonna close my eyes and apply some of these. Okay, so my skin already absorbed the primer. Now I'm gonna go in with my foundation. I'm gonna shake it a little bit. If you guys have a recommendation of a good um, foundation for dry skin, let me know down in the comments, please. I put those little ganchitos, but I didn't took out, like I didn't put all my hair to the side. So I had to go shop for a new foundation soon. So I can probably try out a new one instead of buying the same one. Okay, so I already blend my beauty sponge. And I'm going to be blending my foundation. When I start getting into makeup, I used to use a blending sponge all the time to blend my foundation. And then I start getting like into brushes. And then I forgot about the beauty sponge and everything. So now I try to mix it. Sometimes I use beauty sponge and sometimes I use brushes. I cannot decide like which is my favorite if a brush or a sponge because um they both do their job super good okay so now i'm gonna go in with my frankie rose concealer on the shade neutral and i'm as well gonna be using my beauty sponge to blend my uh, concealer guys i got a big ass pimple right here on my chin but it's like those pimples that are they're like in the inside and not in the outside. But um, the same day I got another pimple like right here on the side. But that one is gone. That one it looked like it was in the inside as well. And I tried to pop it. And it popped. So it wasn't in the inside. It actually was like a you know pimple pimple I guess. Okay, so actually for my under eye, I'm going to be using my Bibella's Cosmetic Brush. So I can get really in there. Okay, so now I'm going to be contouring my face. Using my contour stick from LA Colors. I get them from the Dollar Tree. 
I have a round face, so I like going in a little bit heavy with my contour. I'm also gonna be using my beauty sponge to blend the contour on my face. I'm using like the small part for my forehead. I do not go in too heavy on my forehead because I do have a small forehead. I'm gonna go in with my Morphe White 12 to finish blending the contour on my nose and my jawline. Okay, so I already set my concealer, my under eyes, um, my chin, my smile lines, my forehead and my nose. Now I'm gonna go in with my bronzer from Too Faced on the shade uh, Chocolate and it smells so good. And I'm gonna be using my Morphe Art 4 to bronze my face. And then at the same time, I'm setting the contour cream that I apply on my face. Okay, so I'm gonna do my under eye shadow. I'm gonna be using the same palette and I'm gonna go in with the shade Deep Forest, which is this green shade um, on the palette. And I'm using my Morphe E17 and I'm just gonna blend the shade under my eyeshadow. And depending, depending how it looks, I'm gonna decide if I add black shadow or just leave the green one. Okay, so I already went ahead and applied mascara to my under eyelashes. And I got mascara on my under eye, so I let it dry and now it's all gone using a spoolie. That's a little hack that I have for y'all. That's what I do. Just let it dry and then just go back with a spoolie and clean the part where you messed up, I guess. Okay, so I'm gonna be adding some highlight to my face. I'm gonna be using this palette from Beauty Creations. And I'm gonna be using this one, which is my favorite. I know you guys know that already. I always use this one. I won this palette in a giveaway and I love it. I love it. You don't need to apply a lot of highlight to get pigmented or make it noticeable. Look how cute that is. Okay, so now I'm gonna be using the same palette for the inner corner for my highlight in the inner corner. I'm, I'm gonna be using this one right here. Se llama Snow Kingdom. And I'm gonna use this brush. It's my Morphe White 23, I believe. And apply the highlight or the shadow in the inner corner of my eye. Okay, so for my lips, I'm gonna just go in with this uh, lip shiner. It's like a lip gloss. Okay, and on top of the shiner, I'm gonna be using this um, lip gloss, I guess, from Wet n Wild. I got it for a dollar at Walgreens because it was broken. And then I put this little, I don't remember what I put, but I fixed it. Okay guys, so this is the final look for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as, as I did. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video. All the products that I use are gonna be linked down below in the description box. Also, my social medias are gonna be linked down below. So yes, guys, and if you want to see more of me, please go ahead and follow me on my other social medias. Like I just said, whenever I'm not here on YouTube, I'm active in all my social medias. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.